Corey Sanhagen's win over Rob Font in the main event of UFC on ESPN 50 was supposed to be the most important of his career. But the action-free five-round decision may have cost him the title fight he thought he'd be rewarded with. Thanks to a wrestling-heavy approach, Sandhagen and Font landed just 43 significant strikes combined, the second lowest total in UFC history for a non-title fight. But after the bout, the Sandman revealed why his performance put everyone to sleep. Fully torn tricep in round one, he posted the following day. Wasn't able to punch or elbow with that arm without pain and it feeling like shit. Did what I had to do to win that night. Surgery this week, back soon. He received a 180-day medical suspension with no contact for 30. The win should have earned Sandhagen his long sought after title fight. That would have been against the winner of the champ Aljamain Sterling and Sean O'Malley, which is happening at UFC 292 in two weeks. With the injury and the boring fight, though, the former dual division champion Henry Cejudo might get to skip the queue again. And in the co-main, Tatiana Suarez tapped out the former strawweight champion Jessica Andrade after less than two rounds with the most impressive win of her already impressive career. Dana White handed out five performance bonuses instead of four, possibly in response to the lackluster main event. Tatiana Suarez, Dustin Jacoby, Diego Lopez, Karsten Harris, and Asu Amabayev all got an extra 50K for getting finishes. In other UFC news, Conor McGregor has cast doubt on his long-awaited return yet again. McGregor was scheduled to face Michael Chandler, but he decided not to enter the USADA testing pool. With a vile barrage of explicit tweets, McGregor has now called out the YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul, who beat McGregor's old nemesis Nate Diaz over the weekend. But Paul doesn't seem interested. I don't care about McGregor, Paul said. He needs to go to rehab. I want Nate in MMA. I want more professional boxers. And I want Canelo. Let's hope that's the end of that. And John Jones has enlisted the help of Brazilian jiu-jitsu icon Gordon Ryan in preparation for his upcoming heavyweight defense against the division's GOAT, Stipe Miocic. If Miocic had an advantage, it was thought to be his wrestling and size. But you've got to admit, Jones is moving very well here. And Miocic will find out just how well this November 11. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.